Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this font and was asking me how to make it thicker for a cape topper. And I made this, it might be a little bit too thick, but it would work. So we're just gonna start from scratch. I've done this several times, but this is a little bit different. And let's look at this. Let's bring it in here, zoom in. First thing, if you're gonna make a cake topper, you want the letters to be touching, uh, but we'll deal with that in a second. If you'll look right here, this is still a font. So you need to go Control K, and then select all these letters, go up to object and convert them to a curve, and then weld them, and what's gonna happen when you weld them, those double lines are gonna go away, and, and it welded it. Now, the reason you have to go Control K first, because if we convert them to a curve now, and then we go Control K, when we weld them, the inside of the letters go away. So you need to control K first. So we're gonna control K, go to object. Maybe I didn't go back far enough. Let's go back to it's a font. It's still connected, so control K. And then select all them all. Go up to object and convert to cur, which is control Q and then we can weld that. Now we've got that welded, we can weld the letter together. And there's several ways to do this. Uh, it'd just be your personal preference. I would move that H over to the B a little bit, take your shape tool, select all these nodes and bring it down to that. That would probably be strong enough and still look good. Grab it all again and weld it. Now you have a complete object that's gonna look like that. So that's the thickness, so let's go Control G and make a duplicate, or Control D, and that's a little irritating to me when you have your set on five millimeters or in the United States, 2.5 inches. I like mine set at zero, zero, and there's a lot of reasons in case you have to put that back. If you Control D and make a duplicate, it's right on top. And then if we nudge that out of the way, we can always nudge it back. But that's not what um, that's not what the video is for. I'm gonna left click, right click in black, and you can see our eye, that little part of the eye is gonna, uh, and I'm gonna change this to a hairline. Our eye is uh, gonna fall out. But if we select all this and go to the boundary tool, and now let's cursor that out of the way and we got just our exterior part of our letters and let's go to op or go to effects, contour, let's contour to the outside. I don't, I'm not too sure about millimeters, but I'm gonna contour to the outside in millimeters. That took care of our eye. Uh, the dot of the eye is now engulfed into the word. So we're gonna to go to object and break contour apart, trying to grab the outer contour. And we didn't, but we don't, we've got the outer one here. Now what I would suggest is take this one and let's move it out of the way. And you've got your interior parts. Let's see if we can not break it apart, break curve apart grab the exterior one only and move it out of the way. Now we have all our interior parts. And because we're using our nudge distance, it's gonna put it right back. It still looks like that line is more than a hairline, and it is. So that will cut out. Now this is a funny font, and everything looks pretty good except for those these P's part of the P and you can change that. You could leave that. You could stretch this, make it bigger, you know, put it somewhere, delete this one so they'd both be both the same. Control D and make a duplicate and this is why it's right on top. You can uh, now start moving then hold down the control button and at least they're parallel with each, each, uh, each other. 
Now, I would always take the smart fill tool and fill this in, nudge it out of the way. I'm going to left click, right click, change it to hairline. Mine does that automatically, but that's another video. And there you have a cake topper that's thicker than the original. It might be too thick. And there's some things that kind of look funny over the original because we uh, enlarge this. The inside of this looks a little funny on the H. See how it kind of moves that line over? But that's very easily fixed. You, we could take away a few of these nodes. Matter of fact, we could take away that node and let's just grab these nodes and just bring this over. Now we can get rid of these two nodes. So it makes it look a little bit better. My calculator is right near my delete button. That looks a little better, makes the H. Now I might've gone too thick, but that's very readable and very nice. Now all you need to do is make a stick, you know, at least a, I'm not gonna go in millimeters, uh, you know what, I'm gonna convert this real quick from millimeters to inches, and I'm gonna make that stick 0.25. And then if we round the corners, let's zoom in here. You don't have to do all the corners, but with the ratio locked, we just start rounding the corners till we get around, so the bottom of the stick is gonna be, in, I'll tell you what, let's make our Take topper a little bit bigger, so it doesn't look so funny. Tell you what, let's get the, all this out of the way and move our cake topper to the center of the page, and that kind of gives you the center of the stick. And if it's not in a good spot, you can move it over, but hold down the control button, it'll grow. I'm gonna suggest right there or a little bit over, so we're gonna change our nudge factor to something less, uh, 0 0.02 grab the stick and just move it over. And even though it's rounded, now you could weld this, but it's just as easy to take your um, virtual segment delete key and just delete this line. Now our bottom is rounded, but I'm gonna one more time use the Smart Fill tool because that just kind of seals all the nodes up. Now let's move this out of the way. And then if you left click, right click, and turn this back into a hairline, you have a cake topper that's thicker than the original. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.